We will get to those shorty stories shortly, but we're starting tonight with breaking news on the museum fire just outside of Flagstaff. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Mitch Carr and I'm Rachel Cole. As we work to keep you safe tonight, let's get to the fast facts about the museum fire. It's burning one mile north of Flagstaff in the Dry Lake Hills area northwest of Mount Eldon. It's burned about 400 acres and was reported just before 11 o'clock this morning. An evacuation notice was issued for recreational areas from Forest Road 420 to Highway 89 and Schultz Pass Road to private land. A shelter, of course, for evacuees is open at a local middle school there on Butler Avenue in Flagstaff. And now we take you live to Flagstaff where Team 12's Michael Dowden just spoke with people who've watched this fire grow all day. Michael. Mitch and Rachel, there's plenty of people who've been watching this fire because we're right now about three minutes from downtown Flagstaff. And as you can see behind me, you can still see that orange glow of the fires that have been burning in the mountainside that is only about a mile outside of the city limits. Now, the calls about this fire started around 1115 this morning as there was first reports of smoke in the mountains. And the concerns with this fire is the fact that it's so close to some residential areas, many of which are now under that second level to be told to be ready in case an evacuation order comes. Now we talked to Andrew Orr who noticed these flames around noon and started taking these photos that you've been seeing about an hour later. Andrew described by the time he was taking photos that firefighters were already busy and on the scene. He was seeing airdrops as the flames were sometimes reaching up to 100 feet. Now he says now we've been told by fire officials that a type one incident team, the highest level for fighting fires is scheduled to come in tomorrow to help try to get control of this fire. And Andrew says he's not surprised by the news. The severity of the situation, um, like I will be able to sleep tonight knowing that incredible people are working on it. Um, but obviously there's a lot of people that are very concerned and it, Everyone should be concerned because it's a forest fire. And the fight for these flames will continue tonight. In fact, there's some prescribed burns that will be scheduled to try to protect some important areas, including the top of Mount Eldon, because on top of Mount Eldon, well, there's a lot of communications towers for the entire state, including some for emergency services. And those become very valuable in the days to come as they try to fight this fire and make sure it doesn't reach any of these residential areas. We're live in Prescott. Michael, uh, we're live in Flagstaff. Michael Doudna, 12 News. Yeah, all too